Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open up Pack-a-Punch on Voyage of Despair. Now this weapon you guys see me using is the Kraken, it's the Wonder Weapon Pack-a-Punch. It's freaking OP, it's really fun to use, but if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Now Voyage of Despair is a very hard map to learn, so just follow exactly what I do and hopefully you'll understand, but if you don't, just pause the video wherever you guys get lost to see what door to open up next and that sort of thing because i kind of go through it quickly so starting from spawn you go up the stairs you have to buy the barriers then you come in here and you just keep on going bearing to the right now any doors with red on it you can't open so you have to go down one flight of stairs to open up this next blue door and you keep on running on the deck then you bear to the left and you go inside of this area you pass the zeus statue then you keep going straight by this door and then you are basically almost in the back of the ship so then you can run up here and kind of ride or run on like a small boat that was supposed to be an escape boat then you clear the debris and see that blue thing back there that is the sentinel artifact now you have to actually activate this artifact in order to actually start the pack a bunch process which is kind of annoying because it's all the way in the back of the boat so you gotta run from the front all the way to the back so i'm gonna activate the sentinel artifact here and what this is going to do is shoot out four orbs and each orb is a pack-a-punch pedestal that you have to activate so as you can see it's shooting out four of them and they just land in certain places so what i like to do and to me the fastest way to open pack a punch is fast travel what this is going to do is bring you all the way to the front of the ship where you started in spawn now there is a pedestal in spawn that you have to activate so that's why i go here right away now usually what i do is i land i go right down here and i just drop down and what that's going to do is allow me to be like two floors down i don't have to worry about the stairs then i buy this door and boom i'm already in the engine room so all you have to do is swim and you'll find a, an upside down triangle that you actually have to activate and that is going to be the pedestal so as you guys can see right here it's going to be this upside down triangle now all i have to do is activate it now there is a like thing that you can turn the wheel that's going to drain the water from the room so i recommend that you guys do this every single time you play because eventually pack a punch is going to move to this location so you want to make sure that you drain the water so you don't have to worry about it at a later time and then all you do is press square or if you're playing on xbox x and if you're playing on pc f and what that's going to do is activate that first portal now the one that you activate last the last pedestal is where pack punch is going to be so keep that in mind you don't want to activate one in water last if you don't have to because it's kind of annoying now i was checking to see where this actually goes to and it goes to the other engine room which is going to be the third one that we activate but we'll save that for that point of the video so anyways guys once you get that one done the next one is going to be in the middle of the ship now this one is probably the easiest to find because all you have to do is kind of look for the same staircase and then you just keep going down so this staircase right here is the one that looks like definitely nice and all you do is just keep going down it's like the middle of the ship it's really really easy to find this is probably the easiest one to activate to be honest with you guys you just go down like four flights of stairs and then it's right here so you just press square and you activate it really really easy really simple now the next one is a little bit more complicated and this is probably the hardest one to find or actually do in my opinion just because it's another one of those underwater ones and it's just a pain in the butt to be honest like all the underwater ones really really annoy me that's just my opinion but you guys may disagree and i feel like once i play the map more it won't be as bad and i'll get used to it but it's just really annoying to me there's like shield parts down here as well which are super hard to find but basically this is under where the sentinel artifact is so you go down this flight of stairs then you have to go like way in the back to find another flight of stairs which can be kind of annoying and uh you could drop down if you want i recommend not dropping down then you go back like forward i guess down these stairs then you go through the like freezer room then you buy this door and then you finally get down below uh to this area now you could buy that barrier right there or just go next to thor and you go underneath or not thor odin rather and you just basically keep swimming straight and you'll get to the upside down triangle now i did not 
uh drain the water for this one just because i was like dude it's not even worth it i never want to pack a punch when it's over here to be honest with you guys i just think it's so annoying to be honest and i know i shouldn't be complaining but let's be real like i don't want to pack a bunch there ever and i probably won't for at least the first week of the game so anyways we're gonna go back up and leave this area and then we get to the last and final one which is the easiest one to activate and the reason i activate this one last is because pack a punch is in a knife nice open area that's easy to activate and i don't have to worry about it so as you can see it's right here and you press it and then act like activate it all and then pack a punch is literally gonna open up right there and you can pack a punch right away it's really really easy that's the reason i do this one last just because it's a nice open area and you don't have to really worry about anything so if you pack a punch the welling which is the starting pistol you get dual wield and it's called king and country and it shoots explosives nothing new from treyarch to be honest every single starting weapon is always dual wield with explosives it seems like but anyways guys that is going to be how to pack a bunch on voyage of despair if you guys have any questions you can hit me up on twitter or something like that but i hope this guy did help you out i know this map is really confusing and it took me a ton of games to be able to figure out how to pack a bunch on this map just because i didn't really know where everything was but once again thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out